some extended techniques on the vibraphone. The first one I'm going to talk about is how to get a really nice vibrato sound on the vibraphone. So the first thing that you do is you get the motor of the vibraphone. You plug it into a power extension cord. And you attach it and make sure that the power is turned on. And then you go across to the motor of the vibraphone and you decide what speed you would like your vibrato to be at. So then you stick the motor back on. Plug it in. Turn the motor on and have a listen to your sound. And then you can increase your vibrato and play the same chord again. Decrease it. Cool. Well, that's vibrato. The next thing I'm going to talk about is mallet dampening and how you can use that to kind of create a legato phrasing. Now, mallet dampening is when you hold the pedal down on the vibraphone so that every note would sustain. pressing the pedal down again, you hit one note and dampen it as you hit the second one so you don't really hear any space of pedaling in between. Now, the hard part about learning how to mallet dampen is you got to place the mallet you're going to dampen the note with on a part of the note that doesn't stop it from ringing. So you sit it over what they call the, the node of the note so that the note can still sustain and you can push into the note with some force as you hit the, the second note that you want to create the legato slur to. kind of step that you can take with mallet dampening is not to do it with two hands but trying to get it to happen with, with one hand. So instead of you could have a, a two ringing notes in, in your right hand, hit one in your left hand and as you use the, the right mallet of your left hand to dampen the note hit the, the left mallet on the, the note you want to slur to. technique I was going to talk about is harmonics on the vibraphone. Now the vibraphone's main fundamental harmonic is a double octave from the note you hit. So if you hit a D, you, to get the, you hit a D, the harmonic of that D that is its strongest fundamental is a double octave above where it is. So here. If you place your uh, mallet in the center of the bar with some force and then strike the bar, it rings just as if you put your, your finger on a guitar string and put it in the middle of the guitar string, you get the, the main fundamental harmonic. What I've been interested in developing is trying to get that sound with each mallet. So without actually having to use the, the force in the middle of the bar and then striking the bar, just striking the bar with a little bit of a, a, a wave push into the bar, so I kind of hit down and pull back at the same time, right in the, the centre to get that kind of sound. different texture you can use to, to play with. 
and if I try and put both of the mallet dampening and that texture together you get some really nice uh, timbre combinations. thing I'm going to talk about today is how to develop some uh, doubles, uh, sticking doubles on playing the vibraphone because with a drummer doubles there's a lot of different types of, of double strokes you can use but using four mallets it becomes a lot more difficult to get a double stroke happening because you kind of want to be able to have it in every mallet so you kind of have to think about splitting your hand into four parts instead of like, your hand into two parts so you have four different ways of playing a double stroke. So the, the, the technique that I kind of use is to grab the mallet with your, your thumb and second finger in your left hand and to kind of throw it with the gravity of the weight of the mallet into the note so that it kind of jumps the double and then pick it up as it stops. So right hand, because you use your, your outside mallet as your lead mallet, push with your, your fourth finger that holds your, your mallet in place at the same time you drop the mallet. So if you add those two together, and then eventually just put on a metronome and try and speed it up. thing that you want to do is try and get a double stroke in two mallets and so hitting two notes at once and this involves a completely different technique where you would pretty much use the gravity of the mallet and a really loose wrist to let it drop and catch it again kind of as you were doing with the thumb and second finger so together. And I think the best way to integrate any kind of extended technique into your playing is to compose an etude or an exercise that you enjoy playing that kind of brings the, the technique closer to being part of your musical language. So you would, I took this, uh, this doubling on the note A and turned it into a little etude that works through all the combinations of double things that I wanted to Instead of hitting the same note twice, you could actually slide and hit two notes with the, the same stroke. So instead of, you can hit. So putting that in that same exercise could sound like 